With Angela's own restaurant closed for refurbishment, she's having Stephen for lunch at one of her family's many eateries, the Café Royale in Pontypreeth, South Wales. There's a little bit of pressure involved, you know, she's cooking for myself and I'm, you know, her, her competition in, in the competition. And she obviously wants to impress and maybe sort of uh, give me something to think about. Spaghetti Bolognese established the Italian influence in British cookery a long time ago. But to demonstrate its place in our 21st century menu, Angela's making totelli di zucca, which is pasta stuffed with locally grown butternut squash, along with lemon and amaretto, all under the watchful eye of great Aunt Maria. I think he'll enjoy it, because at the end of the day, it's, it's going to be a lovely tasting dish. I think it's about illustrating my style of cooking, which is... Um, uncomplicated, you know, very seasonal, and not messing around too much. Hello, mister. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Lovely to see you. Right? Are you well? My hair's nearly as long yeah. as yours. Or yours is nearly as long as mine. Hey, did? I'm good, yeah. And you? Yeah, good. good. How was the week? Stephen hadn't realised that there was a thriving Italian community here. I came to Wales about eight years ago, and I w wasn't aware of the Italian influence, you know, in Wales. Well, he knows now. And he's about to find out why the locals flock to these little Italian restaurants in Wales. Right, Steve, you have to go now, because now I have to feed you. OK, I'm looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. I know. I hope you didn't eat a big lunch. See but you. before Stephen gets to taste the tortelli, Angela wants to have it approved by an expert. Mmm, beautiful. Do you think Steve will be worried now, Signora? I think so, no? I think so. Very nice, Angela. Thank you. Grazie, Signora. So will Stephen be so complimentary about his rival's cooking? Oh, lovely. Bon appetito, lovely. <laughs> Eat before it gets cold. This is very nice. Thank you. Technically, you've got a, bit, a bigger pedigree, you know, because you were all that sort of era that all did the very French classical yeah. background, then beard Which off, helps. You know. It's a nice foundation Horses, to have, yeah, but you definitely. build it and go in what direction you want, really. Yeah. But Angela's hardly short of experience herself, and she's convinced she's got the edge. When yeah, I love to. kick your ass in this yeah. competition, yeah. you know, you can... Yeah. <laughs> you can have a meal on me. <laughs> Whatever. If it means I get a nice meal at your place, then I, I'm seriously going to consider it. <laughs> Angela had served Stephen a simple but superb dish, so he knew what he had to match when she visited him at his gastro pub. All right, Hello. Steve. Hi, Hi lovely. Okay. All right. Okay. My turn this time. Mm, nice to see you. See this you is nice. lovely. Size nice that. kitchen. So she liked his kitchen, but would she like his cooking? Even before he tasted her tortelli, he knew that his rival was a class act. She's a Michelin star chef. You work to certain standards when you achieve those sort of awards and get those sort of accolades. Respect where it's due, and he certainly chose one of his best dishes for Angela. But is mutton, spinach and polenta the kind of food that will impress our judges, let alone Heston and his star-studded guests? Proper cooking. Lovely. How are you, my dear? Thank you. Are you sitting down? Yeah. I am, yeah. Keep you company. So she couldn't be too critical, even if she wanted to be. I mean, it sounds ridiculous, but that mutton actually tasted like lamb. Yeah. Really nice, yeah. like, lamby flavour. I think she liked that. Yeah, I think so. I was very happy with it. It's a uh, it's nice, you know, decent, honest grub, really. But does it give Angela any clues about what he might come up with for the competition? I don't think so. It's not as classical, maybe, as I thought it was going to be. But then this is what he cooks day to day in his, in his restaurant. You know, maybe for the competition, he's going to go much more classically, more technically.